welcome. So today, a couple hours ago, I got a message saying, hey, react to Miyagi and Andy Panda's new song. And I was like, okay, <laughs> so here we are. Um, they dropped a new song a couple hours ago, um, and it is called, well, the translation of the song is Little Numb. Um, I don't know what that means, if it's even right, but um, I'm super excited to check it out, so let's get into the video. I love when it starts with the piano right off the bat. Говорили потребители бетон, прогоню злой шорох Я не годовал какого, эти баламуты заварганили хоррор Плата залагала на такого, психика хапнула ты и пора Все бы трех ты курок, и пока ты дором И пока все и дора додичал, я бы хантером Оберегал эти доступы ваших наивных взоров Когда погибала опора, ты на сей мир открывала глаза как надо Ранее парень, уверовавший в человека, был слеп и скорее был рад этому Yo, his rhythm and flow are so good. I'm loving how he's delivering. Wow, that was such a beautiful song. Um, like I said, the song did have like a very kind of like sad feel to it because of the piano. And Miyagi was giving more of a, like a talk rap than like a rap rap, you know? But like in bits and places, he still had his like, had like a flow and a uh, rhythm to it. And... There was something that really stuck out for me. Um, hold up. <laughs> I need to read the lyrics. Um, so what stood out for me, because I was able to find the lyrics, was um, 
something Andy Panda said, and it was, we are skeletons in depression. And to me, that is like, so many of us are like depressed in our environment, but we are all hiding it. So it's like our, like our, we have skeletons in the closet, you know, that saying, like you are hiding something. So like, we don't want to be seen as in like, somebody that is um not capable of doing their day-to-day -day life or seeing incompetent we push that aside and we hide it and we don't deal with it the way that we should and therefore we are damaging ourselves even more and um another thing that i saw that kind of caught my eye was uh grief in our t-shirts grief in a t-shirt which is to me that is so true because like when somebody cries or is grieving, they do tend to have a t-shirt, like a shirt or something, and they end up, like, wiping their tears. And, like, all that emotion is just being soaked up into that t-shirt. So, to me, it's, like, something that could... You're putting, like, your, your feelings and you're leaving behind a aura of, like, yourself and that energy into an object, and that could be easily thrown away instead of also dealing with it um that's how i see it because when i went through grief what i wanted to do was just throw it away and not deal with it like i don't i don't want to deal with this i don't want it and t-shirts are easily like disposable so to me i saw it as in like putting all our energy and just grabbing it and trying to throw it away and we're putting it somewhere like we would with a t-shirt Something that also like spoke to me and kind of was like, um, kind of gave the, well, I gave the understanding as in life is so short, um, was the phrase, years are lumpy in the throat of the mountain. Years are lumpy in the throat coma. So a mountain, you envision a mountain and it's huge, right? So to me saying, years are lumpy in the throat of a mountain is that as in you're comparing years to this huge object like enormous and to me it's saying that life and time is so precious and so short that you don't know when you're not going to have enough of it you're not going to be able to enjoy that time with certain people or live certain moments because you just don't know what's going to happen so to me that's like hey like don't let your life get all lumpy and forgotten and not do what you want to do and just focus on bad things because you never know what's going to happen and the same thing with years are lumpy in the throat of coma comas are something that people could never wake up from like that's something you never want to deal with like you don't want to be stuck in a moment where you may not ever wake up and your life is getting wasted like you don't want to waste life well in my eyes it's saying not to let life just pass you by like enjoy it and live in the moment and just don't let things go by like we are living in a time and age where life is moving in such a fast pace and Sometimes we are so busy and we're doing this and we're doing that and we have to go, 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 go that we are not like stopping, taking in our surroundings and living the moment. So that to me, that's what it's representing. That's what it's saying. And overall, the song, that's what I got was a very, life is short, so just enjoy it. That's what I got from the song. I could be wrong, but that's just uh, how the lyrics translated to English. So I hope I got it right. Um, and if I didn't, I would love to know the meaning of the song, but that's just the meaning I got from what I was able to translate. But I thought it was a beautiful song. You definitely felt the emotion um, with the instrument, the production, and their way of delivering. So I overall thought it was a very beautiful song. I hope you guys like the reaction. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe, turn the post notifications so you know when I post next. And if you want to know more of my day-to-day -day life and what I'm like, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, which is down below. 
And remember, on Mondays, I do Fresh Out Mondays, where I react to new upcoming artists or artists are not as well known. So don't forget to tell me what new artists you want me to react to. And on Wednesdays, I am doing Eurovision Wednesday. So tell me what 2020 Eurovision song should I react to. And on Thursdays, I do Throwback Thursdays, where I react to Throwback songs. Duh. So tell me what is your favorite Throwback song. And on Fridays, I do Female Fridays. So tell me what is your favorite female artist and what song by them do you love? That is all on my part, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye! <laughs>